Rev it up and welcome to Cars Yeah, show number 2,225. Be prepared to be inspired. This is Cars Yeah, where you'll enjoy interviews with inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Mark Green is here to provide you with a fuel injection of automotive inspiration. So get in, sit down, buckle up, and get ready for a wild ride here on Cars Yeah. Hello, inspiring automotive enthusiasts, and welcome to Cars Yeah. Today I'm in Warrington, Virginia, with a very special guest by the name of Michaela Kyle. Michaela, welcome to Cars Yeah. Do you have any gear, and are you ready to release the clutch? I am. We're going to have some fun. Now, before I introduce you and we talk about what you're doing, which is a lot of things, (laughs) what's one little thing that people may not know about Michaela Kyle? I live on a farm. I have cows. I have horses. What? Dogs. <laughs> what? Yep. Now, Love okay, them. now I have to stop you there because you'll, you listeners will hear when I introduce Michaela. She is a very busy lady, very professional, doing lots of things. How on earth do you have time for a farm? <laughs> you just have to make time. Ah. I, it's a family farm, so it's not just me, um, but it's my parents and my sister. Nice. Oh, how fun. Yeah. You know, my father grew up on a farm in Texas. Uh, he left after college, came out west. And so I grew up on the beach in Southern California, a surfer kid. But every time we'd go back and visit my grandparents, it was like going to an alien world <laughs> because there were no hills. It was northern Texas. There was cows and horses and wheat fields. And he grew all sorts of different things, all this crazy stuff. And it was just like, man, this is really cool. But I love <laughs> animals. So that must be quite fun for you. Oh, it's fun. And my dad grew up on a farm too. So it's kind of nostalgic a little bit. So runs in the family. Very nice. Well, it's a nice break away from your busy life. Allow me to give you a proper introduction and we're going to dive into your world here. Michaela Kyle is the corporate manager at Power Trucks USA. It's your local one-stop automotive accessory shop and service center. They offer the enthusiasts a massive selection of truck, Jeep, SUV, and automotive aftermarket accessories, plus installation services. She started her career in the fashion industry and has more than 10 years of management experience running many successful brands. She is the corporate manager for Whitecap Enterprises. It's a private asset equity company that owns Power Trucks USA. She also manages marketing for their many acquisitions, including Autism First, Whitecap Construction Services, Extreme Steel Crane and Rigging, Extreme Steel, Extreme Rentals USA, and several waste companies. My goodness, you're busy. <laughs> Michaela is here today to share Power Truck USA's holiday gift guide uh, for the automotive enthusiasts. They have a lot to offer at this company, so we're going to focus on that today amongst the many things she does. But first, a word from our valued sponsor. So give them a little love. They keep the fuel in the tanks here and we'll be right back. Maybe we'll wander out and uh, milk a few cows and check on the horses while we're gone. We'll be right back. I've enjoyed the quality and variety of Lloyd's floor mats for decades now. And I'm super excited to report that Lloyd's mat store is now part of the Covercraft family of products. Car care that protects the things that move you. Lloyd's floor mats are the ultimate in quality and fit with carpet mats, all weather mats, velour techs, Berber, classic loop carpet, and they're proudly made in the USA. They're designed and sewn with the highest of quality and offer custom fitment for almost any vehicle. There's a wide variety of styles, fabrics, and colors to choose from, and hundreds of licensed logos as well. Protect your vehicle's factory carpets from moisture, dirt, mud, snow, slush, anything that Mother Nature can throw your way. All of your options are quality made, easy to clean, they secure to the floor, and they look oh so good. Check out Lloyd's Mat Store for a wide variety of styles, colors, and options for your vehicle today. And I've got a special deal for you. If you use the code CARSYEAH, C-A-R-S-Y-E-A-H, at lloydsmatstore.com, you'll get $10 off. Just use the code CARSYEAH at L-L-O-Y-D, M-A-T-S, S-T-O-R-E dot com, LloydsMatStore.com, Covercraft and Lloyd's Mats, protecting the things that move you. I was talking with a buddy of mine the other day and he asked me about American Collectors Insurance. He said, while I listen to you on Cars Yeah, you're always talking about agreed value collector car insurance. Well, I insure all my cars on my regular auto insurance policy and I've done it for years. Why use a different company for my collector cars? I get a multi-car discount. Isn't that good enough? I suggested he call his carrier and ask how much he would get if his collector car was totaled 
are stolen. He called back and said, boy, that was a scary conversation. Their value of my car wasn't even close to what it's really worth. Thank you for the education, Mark. So don't just hope for a fair claim settlement. Be certain and know exactly what you receive with an agreed value policy. American Collectors Insurance has been protecting enthusiasts since 1976. Give them a call today for your personal agreed value quote at 866-ACI-YEAH. That's 866-224-9324. Tell them you're a friend of Mark Green's at Cars Yeah. American Collectors Insurance, classic car insurance designed by collectors for collectors, automotive enthusiasts just like you and me. That's American Collectors Insurance. You've heard me talk about Linkage Magazine here on Cars Yeah for a couple of years now. Well, they're growing. And in 2023, they're going to grow from four issues a year to six. And there's an opportunity here for you to take advantage of this growth. If you go to LinkageMag.com and click on the Renew button, if you already subscribe, you can get a great deal. Use the code RENEW6 for one year and you'll get six issues for the price of four or Type in Renew 12 for two years where you also have a great savings. Plus, they'll even throw in a free Linkage hat. How cool is that? The publisher of Linkage is Donald Osborne. He's been a guest multiple times here on Cars Yeah. He's become a good friend of mine. And I'll tell you, Linkage Magazine is one of those newer magazines that you're going to want to get. It's all about experiences, opinions, and values. It's a wonderful publication, something I look forward to getting. And now that I'm going to be getting six a year, (laughs) even more special. So go to LinkageMag.com. Again, use the code RENEW6 or RENEW12 to get that special deal. Do it before December 31st, 2022, so that in 2023, you'll get six issues of Linkage Magazine instead of four. So, Michaela, we are back. So, given your enormous workload of all the different companies you're involved with, I'd love for you to talk a little bit about your career before we get into Power Trucks USA, because pretty diverse group of companies that YCAP holds, which means you got to change hats all the time and change focus all the time. How did you get into this role? I kind of just landed into it. <laughs> <laughs> Fell off a horse and landed in a, in a very big job. Pretty much. Uh, no, when I was in the fashion industry, I was doing a lot of marketing for the businesses that I was with and hosting a lot of events, partnering up with other companies. And so when COVID hit, I got furloughed. So then I kind of was like, well, what do I do next? Mm-hmm. And then I kind of landed into White Cap Enterprises. Wow. Yeah. Did they find you or did you find them? Kind of neutral. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, very cool. So as your career is pretty diverse, but you tend to be focused on marketing, graphics, uh, communications, all that kind of thing. If you had to bundle your description of the many things you do along with Power Trucks USA, because we are cars, yeah, here today, how would you briefly describe your role? Because your business card must have an awful lot of lines on it. Uh, corporate manager. I think that's the easiest way to describe it because like, I can put anything underneath that. But with Power Trucks specifically, I do a lot of the marketing for them and we host events and then anything with our franchising side, I also will work with that and I kind of pair the two together. Oh, very cool. So let's talk about Power Trucks USA because that's what brought us together today. This company, um, you guys kind of remind me of the old business I was a part of. We sold a lot of accessories and things for vehicles. Your guys' product line is extremely vast. I recognize a lot of the brands that you carry, but how would you describe to those listeners out there today that have a propensity for augmenting and accessorizing their off-road vehicles or on-road SUVs, and people love to do this with those types of vehicles, how would you describe Power Trucks USA's offers? You dream it, we make it. Anything that we you can imagine that you can put on a car that we can purchase, we will put on the car for you. Now, we do everything from Jeeps, trucks, SUVs, um, lifts, tonneau covers, wheels and tires, I mean, anything. All right. So you make the the vehicles even cooler. Now, how do you service your customers? Are you online in addition to having the actual service centers where I could bring in my vehicle and say, hey, I want to jack it to the sky, put some big wheels and tires, accessorize it, make it super cool? So we have an interactive garage online where you can actually put your vehicle in there and then it loads your year make model. You can see all the accessories. You can add it. You can see it 2D or 3D. But then we do recommend you bringing it into the shop. That way we can kind of see where your car is at, especially if you have an older car, which we tend to work with a lot. And then if there's extra work that needs to be done, like if you have rust in there, it might have to adjust what you want to do with your vehicle or there might be a better product for you. 
So we always recommend you coming in. So you're fully true service. True service for, through and through. Full service. Yeah, I should say. Full, full yeah. Yeah, full, full and service. true. Yeah, absolutely. Now, do you have different locations or are you just in one location? So right now we're in Warrington, Virginia, but we are franchising and in the works of opening some corporate locations. Oh, cool. Do you have some other states that you're looking at? Nationwide. Now, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And even we're open to Canada as well. Wow. Well, that's very cool. You know, I was playing around on your interactive garage. It's a pretty cool place because you can visualize what you want in a nice way, whereas sometimes what you think you want isn't exactly what you want when it comes to accessorizing a vehicle. And, you know, sometimes we get a little carried away and maybe do too much. And this is a nice way for people to do that. So uh, that's very, very cool. As you look at your career on that side of all the different businesses that you work with within the company, would you consider yourself a a car gal, a truck gal? Always. I I mean, I grew up driving a truck with my dad, so... (laughs) Yeah. And then any of the equipment too. So that was always fun. Say I have a Jeep and I am obsessed with it. So obviously working here has made it even, I, I guess you could say worse or better. It depends on who you, who's your viewpoint. Um, if it's my pocketbook, it's not too great, but <laughs> <laughs> it's been awesome. Yeah, I understand. You know, but this is what Cars Jazz is all about is people who wrap their passion into what they do. My daughter is real into fashion. She's worked for Nordstrom ever since she graduated from college. And so, yeah, same thing. Always uh, looks super sharp. And uh, we always, just, I always know I'm going to get some uh, interesting fashion upgrades. Let's put it that way <laughs> during the holiday season for my birthday. Great. Yeah, she tries to set me up. But yeah, working in the car industry and loving it is what it's all about. Power Trucks USA, the title is interesting to me because at first I thought, oh, is this just into big trucks? But you guys offer so many different things for a wide variety of people. All right, have you seen since you started working there and since the COVID pandemic hit, and it's been about a couple of years now, um, a growth in this industry? Because I certainly have. If you look out on the roads, there are a lot of trucks it seems like everything is a SUV. Jeeps, uh, that's a whole fanatic cult, I think. <laughs> of Jeep oh, owners. 100%. <laughs> yeah. So have you seen a growth even over the last two years? Because I've heard that from a lot of guests as we were clamped down during COVID, people did go out to their garage and they did go out and drive their vehicles because they could be in that environment. They could be safe and they could still get outside. Oh, yeah. No, it's, I mean, it's grown every single year. And I mean, for me, it was kind of still shocking with COVID because you saw some industries just either plateau, but this one just continued to grow and our business was constantly busy. We were booked like three weeks out. So yeah, which is crazy, especially during COVID. People are kind of taking their older vehicles because they can't couldn't afford the newer prices because mm-hmm. the prices skyrocketed. So they were taking their older vehicles, bringing it in for also general maintenance, but then also still wanting a whole new look of their vehicle. So then they added all those aftermarket accessories to their vehicle and it kind of started this trend. Yeah, that's very interesting because you're right. Cars got very expensive. And while you could make some money selling your car, you still had to buy another one. Yep. So why not keep your vehicle? And what you guys do with accessories is a nice way to I guess the right way to say it is make your car new again in a way, right? Yeah, make it new. And like while we're adding the accessories, if we see that your brakes need changed, your oil needs changed, or you, there's something wrong with your engine, we'll go, we'll call you and say, hey, this is what's going on. You need to fix this. Or eventually you'll need to fix this. And if they want it done, we'll do it while we're already underneath the car. So tell me a little bit about this Jeep of yours. Have you done any uh, modifications to that vehicle? Well, I've done so much. I got a new radio, wheels and tires, uh, front and rear bumpers, inner and outer fenders. <laughs> I love her. She's yeah. awesome. Her name's Delilah, by the way. She's Delilah. White Delilah. <laughs> so, hey there, Delilah. By Plain White Tees. Yeah, I just know the song and it stuck with me. So When you think about what I call our driving inspirations, people in your life that have been very influential and inspiring to you, is there anybody that comes to mind that's been a great help? Um, my dad, hundred percent. My dad, just since the very beginning, like growing up, he's always just been a very hard worker and he's always had the act for wanting to learn everything and wanting to grow. I adopted that. And so when I went into college, I kind of wanted to go in a similar business route, but I also still loved the fashion side or the accessory side, however you kind of look at it, which ended up kind of turning into what I'm in now, but now he's awesome. He's my biggest inspiration. Now, you mentioned the farm. Did he, he grew up on a farm, right? Yeah. So he grew up in a little small town called Flagler, Colorado. So yeah, he grew up on a farm and then he is now in business. 
Well, farmers uh, never stop working. I know that from my, my dad's side of the family. Uh, it's never ending. And I've told this story before, but it's kind of true. My grandfather rarely came to visit us in California, but he drove all the way out there once. It was a long drive from Texas to Southern California. And after three days, he was kind of a restless guy. He didn't sit around very well is the way. And maybe that's where I got that from him. But he said, well, we're going home now. And I said, Grandpa, you just got here. And he said, Mark... The cows and horses don't take vacations. They don't. <laughs> yeah, they still need some tending to. So, uh, yeah, well, nice to have that influence uh, from your father. We'll take a short break. We come back. I want to talk a little bit more about you, your passion for cars, and maybe a challenge you faced that you've overcome that uh, seemed to be a bad thing at the time, but turned out to be pretty good. So sit tight, and we'll be right back. Fall is here, and you know what that means. Time to put a good coat of protection on your vehicle. I'm teamed up with AutoGeek, and they've been the leading source of auto detailing products, accessories, and expert knowledge for more than 20 years. What started back in 1997 as a small mail-order catalog company grew into a multi-website-based e-commerce store, and that's what they are today. With a large online presence on its own website featuring close to 100 different brands, AutoGeek has grown to be the largest car care retailer in the country. AutoGeek's wholesale program serves accounts in over 30 countries, and its retail sector ships worldwide. If you want to protect your vehicle this fall, and you should, go to AutoGeek.net for the best product selection on the internet today and technical support. AutoGeek.net is where I go for my detailing needs. That's AutoGeek.net. 20, 50, or a hundred years from now, will there be a workforce to care for the collector vehicles we love? With auto shop programs disappearing across the country, it's a question we enthusiasts have to ask. That's why I support the RPM Foundation, which exists to ensure that the critical skills necessary to preserve and restore these vehicles aren't lost to time. One of the many ways RPM, which is short for Restoration, Preservation, and mentorship is accomplishing this goal is through workforce development initiatives. The RPM apprenticeship program enables the next generation of artisans to earn a living while they learn the craft of restoring and preserving these vehicles directly from industry professionals. The endangered skills program documents the process of masters training future craftspeople on a variety of critical skills in danger of being lost forever. For more information on how the RPM Foundation is driving the future of the collector vehicle skills trade, visit RPM Foundation today. They're one of the charities of choice here on Cars Yeah. So, Michaela, I love this question, the challenge question. I'd love for you to share a big challenge that you faced. But more importantly, was that valuable lesson learned as you look back now? And you can kind of say, I'm glad I went through that because it taught me some great things. Yeah, we kind of touched up on it a little earlier, but I would say like similar to my dad, I like to be busy. I like working. I enjoy it. Um, and I like traveling too. So when COVID hit and I was furloughed, I kind of was like, what do I do with my life? What do I do with my career? And, um, that was really difficult for me because I had a full team underneath of me. I was running multiple locations and I went from doing that to pretty much doing nothing Mm -hmm. within right when COVID hit. So it just made me look into different things that I wanted to do. And I already had a passion for marketing. So I kind of just went down that road a little bit, but I never would have taken that route and gotten to where I am today if I hadn't gone through that. So even though it was really difficult, it was great. Oh yeah. Well, so for a listener out there that might be going through a career change, whether it's out of their control or in their control they got laid off due to some unfortunate situation or the company just wasn't going well and had to furlough or lay people off what are some pieces of advice you would give somebody because that can be devastating and when you're busy and you like what you're doing and all of a sudden you wake up the next morning you have nothing to do that can mess with your head a big time Mm -hmm. and of course it's fearful and everything else involved so what are some action items you took that you could help somebody that might be going through the same thing right now that really helped you move forward? Yeah. uh, For me, it was just kind of following my passion, which was marketing and some graphic design. So I took some classes to kind of further my experience and have that underneath my belt a little bit more. And I also took any opportunity I had like that was given to me or that I went after. So even like interviews with companies, even though I was kind of like, this isn't really the right fit for me. I still went with the interview because I learned a lot about my, pro- about myself and what I wanted to do with, during that process. Oh yeah. Great, great ideas. Um, I have had friends that have said, 
For one thing, maybe if you have time, take a little bit of a break. Give yourself a little bit of a, a relief. Uh, I had a, a great friend once say to me, uh, get the gorilla out of your head. And yeah. I said, what are you talking about? And he goes, well, there's a lot going on in your head right now. You need to calm that guy down. So if you can, if you have enough of a runway built up, savings and so forth, or family support, take a little break for yourself and really look into your your heart as to what you really want to do versus on focusing what just happened to you. And I love your other idea of go out and, and talk to people. I Another thing that I've heard from other guests is call your friends, call your professional friends, reach out and talk with them, take them for a coffee or a meal and uh, ask them questions and ask for advice. Because sometimes we tend to become introverted. And when you add COVID to that, where we couldn't go out and talk to people, everybody felt like they were really isolated. It was terrible, wasn't it? Oh, it was horrible. And for me, the one thing I loved about the retail industry and that portion of it was the face-to-face with customers that I had every single day. And so going from that to pretty much just talking to your family and your friends was <laughs> so drastic. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. You know, one, things really I, one of the things I mentioned in the intro, and I'm going to mix up a little question I have. Typically, I ask people about bucket list items, but I really want to talk about something that brought us together today. Your PR company that connected us mentioned that uh, Power Trucks USA has a holiday gifts for auto enthusiasts. And one thing I know, at least my wife has told me this because I'm an automotive nutcase, is <laughs> we are very hard people to buy for. You know, uh, we have very distinct tastes. Most of the time uh, growing up, I always told my mom I want a Porsche. She would laugh and say, good luck with that. And uh, one year she actually made a birthday cake for me that was the shape of a Porsche. And she goes, now you can have your cake and eat it too. Wasn't exactly <laughs> what I wanted. But I'd love to talk about this holiday gift guide, how you guys put this together. Maybe talk a bit about some of the ideas that you have for automotive enthusiasts for gifts, because you sure have a lot to offer. Yeah, some of them are kind of the basics that you can either just get because we know what vehicle you have. Um, weather tech formats are huge. Almost every single customer we have either has them or is getting them. And a lot of our dealerships will also purchase them for their customers as gifts. So that's a great one. Tonneau covers. I'm sure all the men, women with trucks who want the back cover of their truck covered. Yeah. It's great. As we can just install it and it's done. And you kind of already know what they want. So you can just kind of wrap it up in a bow and surprise them with it. What are some other cool, cool things you guys offer? Audio systems. And we'll do everything from the speakers. And if we have to rewire everything, we have an auto tech that is specializes in electronics. So he can, he's actually done trucks where he has fully re- rewired the entire truck from top to bottom. So yeah, it's awesome. And some of the stuff that he's put in there with the subwoofers is just amazing. And it's in, sometimes it's in vehicles that you would never expect it to be in. <laughs> well, sure. You know, you mentioned the interactive garage. And one of the things that is pretty cool that you offer is for people that maybe have to buy a gift for an automotive enthusiast, but they're not really automotive enthusiasts. It can be a bit overwhelming. And having the fact that if they know what their friend or family member drives, they can plug that in and you guys provide a host of ideas for them. And one of the things I always say mm-hmm. is, you know, us automotive enthusiasts, Floor mats may sound like a boring thing, but we like that mm-hmm. stuff, right? Yeah. Hey, it protects your vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Some, some no, very- the nice thing about the interactive garage, too, is you can actually build your vehicle up and then you can print it, put it in your Christmas card and say, here's your gift. And this is what we you can put on it. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it can just ship direct to the, to the recipient and doesn't have to be, because I'm trying to think, yeah, wrapping... Floor mats could be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can just print it off and we can actually just ship it to them directly from our store. So nice. if you're not in our location, we can just ship it. You make it very easy for sure. I like to ask people about what I call our special vehicle stories. You mentioned your Jeep Delilah. Is that your special vehicle or is there another one in your past? <laughs> that is my special vehicle. It is. Um, it was a gift to myself when I graduated college. I saved up my money from working from when I was 16 till then. And she is what I bought. What year so, is your Jeep? Uh, 2010. Oh, okay. And what model? So, a Jeep uh, Wrangler Sport. Sport. Okay. What color is Delilah? White. White? <laughs> white okay. and black. Yeah. For someone who was in fashion, I love the black and white. So I'm very, I like the modern look a little bit. 
Well, yeah, black and white is, uh, I say, very tasteful, kind of, uh, you know, the little black dress or the tuxedo. Exactly. Always looks good. So it has that kind of feel to it. So uh, the Lila, very, very cool. Well, I'm going to be a bit of a car psychologist today. I bet (laughs) no one's ever asked you this question, Michaela. If you were reincarnated, pun intended, as a vehicle... manifest as a vehicle this isn't what you want to be though this is how you perceive the lady in the mirror what would you be but more importantly why Ooh, i have never been asked that <laughs> i would have to go with a classic ford bronco in that light blue color oh so the like the old one yeah the old one okay just that classic style that is just it's timeless it's a dependable car it's reliable has quality, which I also like to think I would have myself. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> of yeah, of course. Um, but then that is also that vehicle is adaptable with different accessories, and I like to think that I would be adaptable adaptable to different scenarios in my life. You know, what's interesting about the Ford Bronco and, of course, the new Ford Bronco they just came out with, and a friend of mine just got the new Ford Bronco Raptor version. Oh. Love. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, that's got to be a monster and a beast. Yeah. But I've also had people on the show that are taking old Ford Broncos and reimagining them as modern entities, the old body, but with new drivetrains, and even a few that are doing it, mm-hmm. making them electric vehicles. So if I could provide you with a classic Ford Bronco and it could be anything, what would it be? Oh, probably the audio system. Oh, okay. You're into sound. Yeah, that would probably like the sound and navigation. That would be because I I wouldn't want to change anything to the exterior very much on that car. Yeah, besides besides maybe the wheels and tires. But I think we're going to go down another (laughs) rabbit hole with you here, (laughs) Kayla. Yeah, but but then there's this. Oh, but well, and I've got to ask. I mean, we got to do something with the power plant because the old Ford Classic Broncos are great, great looking, but. They could use some upgrading and maybe a little more dependability with today's technology. So if if I offer to put a killer motor in that thing or turn it into an EV, would you go for something like either of those? I would do the motor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You like the noise. I do. <laughs> Big powerful like a good engine. Classic car that, yeah. yeah, they don't they just don't make them like they used to anymore. It's just something about those vintage cars. It just well, it's the analog. They're special. Yeah. Are there some ways that you guys like to give back? I mentioned in the intro, one of the things that uh, Whitecap Enterprises is involved with is Autism First. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So Autism First just takes a full collaborative approach that coordinates ABA, speech, OT, and PT services all under one roof. We also offer therapy services to both the immediate family and siblings which you don't typically find. And so you have the full support of our entire team. And we also do in-clinic services. So you can bring your child, um, we do ages two through 21. You can bring them into the clinic or we can also go into your home for the services. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, that's, that's got to awesome. be extremely re- rewarding. And it, it's a very, to me, it was a very interesting aspect of the oversight company, the Whitecap Enterprises. You think of a private um equity company, asset management company, to pick different companies to be involved with. A lot of them kind of make sense. But when I saw Autism First, I went, oh, this is quite interesting because you don't see that. You sometimes see companies that go and help as donations, or but to actually be involved in it is really cool. Yeah. No, it was something that you don't see too often, but has all those services wrapped into one. And we just want it. It's something that we were passionate about and something that the founders were passionate about and it just it kicked off it's awesome it is the most rewarding job well i was going to say this has got to be an an interesting aspect of your multifaceted job with all the different companies you're involved with what have you learned with working with autism first that has kind of surprised you i would say just autism as a whole it's just i don't i didn't have any family that is affected by autism so i was not I don't have any prior knowledge to it before joining the company. And so I've learned pretty much everything that you could learn with the company from what is autism, who it affects, the services that you can provide. It just, all of it. (laughs) Yeah. 
understanding it is the first key to being able to work with people that have autism and not just look mm-hmm. at them as somebody who's different or odd. Or Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it puts some empathy into it, just like anything. When you understand it better, you understand it better and you can you can uh, look at it from a different viewpoint. So that's tremendous. Yeah. I think that's wonderful. Now, I like to ask my guests about a great book that they might share with our listeners. Is there one in your library? <laughs> um I have a ton. I actually am an avid reader. It is something that I love to do. It is my escape from reality. It's my relaxation. So I've been reading for years. And the one book that sticks out with me would be The Book Thief. The Book Thief. I've not heard that book here. Yeah. What's that about? So it's fictional, but it takes place in World War II where they're burning the books and it's it's from a younger person's point of view. So they're kind of seeing this like firsthand and it just kind of talks about how people don't have access to words, how words affect you, um, how important writing is, how important reading is, and kind of how some people aren't, don't have that privilege. So um, that really stuck with me. And especially when I went into college with my sorority, our philanthropy was actually reading. And so even understanding it more of how many people don't have access to books or don't have access to you know, l- learn to read, um, that book really sticks with me. Interesting. I'll have to get my hands yeah. on that. Looking that up, it's by uh, the author Marcus Zusak, if I'm saying yes. his name correctly. So <laughs> it sounds fascinating. Yeah, you think, you know, we take this for granted in some countries and ours particularly, I'll, I'll just say that books are accessible. Nowadays, books are accessible in so many ways. And I always remind yeah. my listeners, and I'll say it again, because my wife just devours books. She has uh, learned a little secret years ago, and that is Sign up at your local library and you can get books online, either audio books or readable books for free. Yep. And um, a lot of people, and not to take anything against audio, Audible, but you know, if you don't have a budget for that, you have no excuse not to get great books. If you don't enjoy reading or if, uh, let's say you have a challenge with reading, listening to books is a wonderful way to learn things. So The Book Thief, I'll put that on your show yep. notes page and on the uh, special page on my website called Guest Recommended Books. So I'm going to enable you to go on the ultimate drive today, Michaela. Uh, money is no object, so don't worry about that. I'm going to buy you any vehicle in the world. You can take it anywhere, but here's a cool part of this. You can take anyone with you, even somebody from the past who's no longer with us, which opens up a world of interesting driving companions. What does the ultimate drive look like for you? Ooh. Um, I would have to say Ken Miles and a Shelby Cobra. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. You're mm-hmm. my kind of gal. Uh, that's <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, Shelby yeah. Cobra. Yeah. Uh, hold on, baby, because uh, my goodness, uh, Ken was uh, quite the driver. Um, wow. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. And I, would, I wouldn't even sit there and talk to him. I would just sit there and drive with him. <laughs> I don't think and he I would, would let hear him you. Drive. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't hear me. I would just let him go and I would just enjoy it. I would sit back and enjoy the ride. Wow. Uh, yeah. 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 You know, I, it's really nice that he came out in that movie, uh, Ford versus Ferrari, because uh, Ken Miles was, I think, one of those people that was kind of uh, overshadowed might be the wrong word, but kind of lost in history a bit because he passed away so young. And of course, Kel Shelby, bigger than life. But Ken, yeah, if they portrayed him the way he really was, and I've read some great books about him. In fact, I had an author on this year who wrote a great book about Ken Miles that went much more in depth. I'll, in fact, I'll put a link to that on your page because of uh, you picking Ken. But you're the only person out of 2,225 people that picked Ken. That's really quite interesting. Wow. Yeah. 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 No, and I, I'm a, I like Ford and I like Ferraris. And so I don't know. I've always, I've always enjoyed it. Yeah. But very cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, he influenced the industry so much. So yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Fun. Well, that will be a fun ride. Not much talking will be going on, but a lot of hold on <laughs> no. will be going on for sure. <laughs> exactly. You're taking us on a fun ride today, Michaela. And before I let you go, could you share maybe some parting words of inspiration or wisdom with our listeners? Yeah, um, there's a quote that I really like by Richard Branson. It's train people well enough so they can leave and treat them well enough so that they don't want to. Ah, I love that one. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. if you look at great leaders who have built great empires, and Richard Branson is one of those, they have a, a secret sauce, and that is that. Train yeah. or find good people and then get out of their way and let them do their job. Yeah. And uh, that's how you build these empires uh, that so many people say, how can you take Elon Musk, for example, or Richard Branson with all the different companies? You know, how did he do that? Well, he didn't do I mean, he did work, but he didn't do the work of the people. He let them do their work. And 
Yep. Uh, that's a hard lesson for some people to learn to let go and let people. It run. is. Yeah. Yeah. That's very no, good. But it's so worth it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You can uh, free yourself to do a lot of other things. How can people learn more about Power Trucks USA? So you can go to powertrucksusa.com or powertrucksusafranchising.com to learn more about our franchising. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, or you can contact me at mkyle at whitecapenterprises.com. There you go. Uh, check them out, listeners. And again, I want to do a, a quick shout out to our my friend and your friend, Michaela Nicholas from CPR Marketing. He's the one that connected me with Michaela today. So Nick, thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, Michaela, thanks for being so generous today with your time and your expertise and sharing uh, a very busy world that you have. I'll get back to <laughs> your work and the farm animals. Until you and I talk yeah. again, I'll see you down the road. It's so much fun, Mark. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining us on today's ride here at Cars Yeah. Drive on over to CarsYeah.com to find show notes and inspiring automotive fun. Download your free copy of Filler Up, a fun book filled with gorgeous photographs of fuel filler fun, including quotes from more inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Download your copy today, and we'll see you next time on Cars Yeah.